Hey guys, uh, we shall take a few more problems on finding step response of a system. Uh, the problem is h of n, it's a discrete time system, h of n is equal to, okay, solution. Okay, first we shall sketch the signal. So, uh, uh, h of n is a unit step function. So, unit step function, it looks like this. It starts from 0 and goes till infinity. Its amplitude is 1 and this is n, right? So, I have to write it in terms of k. The independent variable has to be written in terms of k, right? So, what is the formula for step response? S of n is what? Summation k varying from minus infinity to n h of k. Since uh, in the formula we have uh, h of uh, impulse response in terms of k as independent variable. So I'll change this h of n to h of k. So how do we do that? Just replace n by k. Okay. Fine. Now what is this n? This n is slider, right? It is like it's my wish. I can give any value to this n depending upon the uh, impulse response h of 1. I can give value n uh, as 0. I can give it a 1. I can give it to 2. I can give it to 3. I can give it to 4. I can give it to 100. I can give it to till infinity, right? Fine. So if I give this n value as zero, what is the uh, impulse? Uh, uh, sorry, step response. It is one. It is nothing but running sum, right? If I put this n here, it is nothing but what sum of all the samples from minus infinity till one, right? So from minus infinity till minus one, it is zero. So sum of all the samples are zero. Whereas at n equal to zero, its sample uh, its sample is one, so it is one. When I keep this n here, what is the uh, step response? It is one plus 1, right? It is 2. If I keep it here, it is 3. Why 3? Because 1 plus 1 plus 1. If I keep it here, it is 6, right? Because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If I keep it at uh, 10, it is 11. If I keep it is 100, it is 101, right? Fine. So, this is how, uh, this is how, I mean, that's why we call it as actually uh, running sum, okay? Fine. So, we'll just take up this uh, problem. So, S of n is equal to summation Okay, so k is equal to our uh, step uh, impulse response start from where? 0, right? So it is 0. And n set n. Fine. And n is the slider. n is the slider here. Okay. And it, it can take values, right? Uh, it is 1, right? h of k is 1 for k varying from 0 to wherever the n value I, I keep it. Okay. And what is this? This is nothing but n plus 1, no? because of the standard form summation n varying from 0 to n 1 is nothing but n plus 1 fine so we can cross check it at n equal to 0 what is the sample so 0 plus 1 is 1 right at n equal to 1 what is the sample 1 plus 1 right so so at n equal to 1 it is 1 plus 1 if n equal to 2 2 plus 1 i get 3 so if this n is at 2 1 plus 1 plus 1 3 if n if I, this n is at 5 5 plus 1 is 6 so if i keep it here so all six samples will be added 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if I try to sketch this step response, this is how it looks like. At n equal to 0, it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and it goes on. In case if, if they ask you to sketch the step response, you can do it. Once you get a soft end, you can sketch it. It's not a big deal. Okay. So we'll take up one more. Uh, one simple impulse response h of n is equal to uh, delta of n minus delta of n minus 2. Fine. It's a finite length sequence. How does this sequence looks like? So delta of n is nothing but at n equal to 0, I have an impulse of 1. Uh, delta of n minus 2 means what? Delta of n shifted right 2 times. So 1, 2. And its amplitude is scaled by minus 1. So see. This is minus 1. This is k. I will write it directly in terms of k. H of k. Right? Delta of n. This amplitude. Delta of n minus 1 is not there. So, at at 1 it is 0. Delta of n minus 2 it is here. Which is scaled by minus 1. Fine. So, if I don't have to put the formula here actually. Directly I can say. If n is here. What is the uh, step response? It is 1. Right? If n is here. What is the step response? It is also 1, right? Because 1 plus 0, it is 
1. If I n, if n is here, what is the step response? It is 0, right? How it is 0? 1 plus 0 minus 1, right? If, if n is at 2, if n is at 3, again 1 minus 1, 0. If n is at 4, 1 minus 1, 0. n is at 5, 1 minus 1, 0. So till n equal to infinity, it is 0. So therefore, s of n is equal to what? At n equal to 0, it is 1. At n equal to 1, it is 1. After 2, at n equal to 2, it, it becomes up uh, at, n e at n equal to 2, it becomes 0, 0, 0, and it goes on till infinity. Okay. So we'll take up one more. Uh, let the impulse response h of n is equal to minus 1 by 2 power n u of n. Fine. So s of solution s of n is equal to what? Summation k varying from minus infinity to n h of k. So s of n is equal to summation k. So our signal start from where? This signal start from where? If you want you can sketch and see but since I have u of n here so it start from 0 right? Okay and this u of n ends at infinity but in the formula it, it is n actually depending upon where is the sequence n and what is h of uh, h of k this is h of n if this is h of n what is h of k it is minus 1 by 2 power k and anyhow u of k is 1 for k varying from 0 to n I don't uh, I'll just write it as 1 ok so I'll uh, I'll write this as summation k varying from 0 to n plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 by 2 power k Right. Uh, the reason I wrote like this because I wanted this in the standard form. What is the standard form? Summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n is what? 1 minus alpha power capital N by 1 minus alpha. So this n has to be power in the alpha right hand side. Okay. So if I apply this standard result what do I get? 1 minus what is the alpha is this right? Minus 1 by 2 and this capital N in the sense what I have in the bracket right so small letter n plus 1 hold your by 1 minus alpha what is, what is alpha minus 1 by 2 I'll just simplify this uh, s of n is equal to what 1 minus minus 1 by 2 power n minus 1 by 2 power 1 I just splitted this hold your by what is 1 plus 1 by 3 it is 3 by 2 right so minus of minus plus 1 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 uh, s of n, I'll take this 2 to the numerator, 2 times of 1 minus minus of 1 by 2 power n minus 1 by 2 divided by 3. And if I take this 2 inside, 2 times 1 is 2 minus and if this 2 is applied for this whole thing, so when I multiply this 2 with this term, so it is 2 times minus 1 by 2 is minus 1 and this minus 1 I'll take it here. Okay, so s of n is equal to what? 2 times 1 plus minus 1 by 2 power n divided by divided by 3. So this is the step response. Uh, I'll take a few more uh, examples in the next video.